trying to find new ways to improve the way we conduct missions today and even, even change them perhaps. We're looking into the future, like what do, what do the war fighters need? I would call what we're doing here cutting edge. It's a state of the art uh, autonomy. There are people who think that autonomy means that the, you have a machine that disappears over the rise and makes decisions and comes back with some magic. And we don't believe that's where we're headed. We believe in the kind of time frame we have and the research that you can trust is in the capability of augmenting the operator so you don't have to spend your time flying a group of multi-agents. You can spend your time trying to look at the imagery perhaps coming from those agents and try to interpret it. We have been focusing here in the lab on uh, multi-agent systems. We're thinking of uh, giving these agents high-level uh, commands where we can say go search an area and only come back to us when you have something to report so they'll be able to coordinate among themselves so there's sufficient intelligence among themselves to make some decisions and, and then they can coordinate with the human. We have created the Autonomous Research Arena uh, where we have a motion capture system, we have a mixed reality system and that is bringing together the uh, virtual world, but also we bring in the realities and challenges of you know, real, real world implementation. You don't know that you need it until you see it. And, uh, you know, and that's one of those things I think that here in the arena, it allows us to do that research and you know, finding you know, sometimes through experimentation and finding, oh my God, this is, you know, it's obvious, this is what we need to do. We have multiple types of multi-rotors that we use as part of the autonomy effort, and they range in size. And the reason we experiment with multiple types of vehicles is because we do want to handle heterogeneous uh, groups. We want to be able to handle multiple types of vehicle dynamics. I'm working on the trajectory planning project, and what we do is we want to plan inputs or controls. Uh, in this case, for our quad rotors, that would be things like motor velocities or thrusts such that they can move from point A to point B without colliding with each other. So the video that you're seeing now is a trajectory plan with coordinated time of arrival of uh, 16 different quad rotors. Velocities of the quad rotors are constrained, the accelerations are constrained. So we have all these parameters constrained to give us very smooth trajectories that are planned from the get-go to be uh, collision-free to arrive at their goals all at the same point and to be dynamically feasible. We do have successful collision avoidance, both running uh, on board the, of the platform, so the platform has a computational resources of its own and it's making decisions locally. Uh, and then we also do it off board and broad, broadcast command velocities to them. One of the things that we've worked on as a group has been the, the user interface side of, of controlling a group of agents. And along with that, we've, we've defined uh, some higher level tasks that, we can, that the user can just click buttons to do. So things like take off, which will take off the swarm and start everyone flying. What I get to do is look at different technologies and see how we can control the quad rotors, multiple quad rotors, with one device, with one operator. When I came here, we had the leap motion, and it's a form of gesture control, but we're continuing to look into other devices. So we got the HoloLens. It's an augmented reality headset. This could easily be put on the helmet and worn around. And then you can have as many screens as you want in your space. So I can look up here and I can say I want to do controls and bring that down and that could potentially be a, a GUI, a graphical user interface with um, different operating controls that I can point and click. The technology we're looking into is going to be the new way to control it and it's going to be uh, lightweight, movable and intuitive. Autonomy opens a whole new area to improve I say people's lives and at the same time you can improve the way you conduct the Navy mission.